Pixar's Toy Story 3 is a jackpot for simple examples of key economic concepts you need to know for your upcoming econ exam. A brief look through the movie will hopefully help you understand these concepts in a new and fun way. As demonstrated by the outlaws Buzz and Woody are attempting to capture, people concentrate on their individual economic or financial interests. Entrepreneurs focus on profit in their companies, consumers focus on getting the most for their money and the best way to store it to earn interest. Either way, money motivates people. In gambling, the more you bet, the more of your own money you risk losing, but also the more you could potentially gain. The same risk versus reward relationship is true of investments. Demand deposits, government bonds, and stocks each have increasingly high risks associated with them, but also have increasing potential to earn more money. Andy's relationship with his toys over his life can be compared to the business cycle. In the flashbacks shown to his childhood, Andy's relationship with the toys is at its peak. If it were an economy, it would be producing at above full employment. Notice how Andy has his toys around more than necessary, playing with them at above full capacity. Over time, Andy has grown older. His toys no longer interest him, and they are unused, being stored in a toy bin and eventually the attic. This is the trough of the business cycle because resources are going unused, and the economy is operating at below full employment. But at the end of the movie, Andy realizes his toys are meant to be played with and enjoyed. Instead of leaving them in storage when he heads off to college, he donates them to Bonnie, starting the cycle over again as the toys are played with regularly and the metaphorical economy operates at or above full employment once more. Going along with the business cycle, the toys also display the effect of new technology on employment. As Andy ages, his interests become more focused on technology such as his phone, computer, and car as sources for his entertainment. The toys are victims of structural unemployment because they no longer possess the skills necessary to do their job which they define as being there for Andy. The toys are forced to seek less desirable employment by donating themselves to Sunnyside Daycare. The veterans at Sunnyside say that Sunnyside only has one way out. Death. Hopefully this helps solidify these concepts for you. Good luck on the AP exam next week! You got a friend in me You got a friend in me When you roll Rough ahead in your miles and miles From your nice warm bed You just remember what your past is Oh, you got a friend in me Yeah, you got a friend in me